guys, welcome back to another week of What's For Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's For Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday and I hope everyone is doing well and staying inside. So this week, What's For Dinner, we are using what's in our pantry, fridge, and freezer. Um, before the quarantine started, I did a pretty big grocery haul, plus I already had a lot of groceries and so I am not leaving the house to go to the grocery store uh, for anything. So we're just using what we have. And so in our freezer, we had some ribeye steaks. So Howard grilled some steaks for us today. Um, and so for the sides in my pantry, I had this pastaroni, um, which has white cheddar, excuse me, white cheddar and broccoli flavor. And then in the freezer, I had these uh, microwavable green beans from Walmart. So um, this is what I cooked up. And so here is the pasta on the plate and the green beans on the plate. The steak wouldn't fit, so that's why it's on a separate plate. So um, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having leftover green beans and green bean casserole and leftover mashed potatoes and gravy from my roasted chicken dinner. And what I have added to this meal are these breaded chicken patties. So this is Howard's plate. This is my plate, and these are the chicken patties that I picked up from Aldi when I was preparing for us to stay in. Um, and so they actually look really good, and we are both excited to try them out. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so it is pretty cool here for us today. It's in the 50s, and so Howard decided to make a crock pot full of soup. It's, it's really thick though, it's kind of like a stew. And so for the base of it, he used a rotisserie chicken that I made the other day. And then he added in um, some pinto beans from our pantry and this cock soup mix um, that he grew up eating in Jamaica. He's from Jamaica, but they do sell this at Kroger and other places, so he used that as well and just some seasonings. We had one red, I'm um, sorry, one potato in the freezer, fridge, excuse me, that he used. We have some scotch bonnet peppers and he used those as well. And then um, I felt like baking today, so I made a couple of sweet potato pies. My recipe makes two pies. And so um, one is for Howard and one is for me. I figured out over time that's the only fair way to do it because one of us who shall remain nameless eats more pie than the other. So this <laughs> ensures that we both get the same amount of pie. Um, and I think, actually I know I used the last of our fresh produce to make those pies. So we have no more fresh produce. You can see where my priorities lie, making desserts. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. A, a nice thick chicken soup and then some sweet potato pie for dessert. See you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having another entree from my pantry. Um, we are having this H-E-B Texas style rice and beans. H-E-B is a grocery store that is local to Texas and I've had this in my pantry and wanted to use it. All you do is add sausage and so I had sausage in my freezer, Eckridge, Eckridge Farms. And so all you do, it's pretty simple. You just slice up your sausage, pan fry it and get it nice and golden brown. Then you add the dinner package in and then you just simmer it in a skillet and here it is. Has a really good flavor. We've never had this before. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but with the coronavirus going on, what I'm trying to do is just use up stuff that we have in our pantry, fridge, and freezer. So I'm trying not to go to the grocery store um, unless I absolutely have to. And we have so much stuff in our fridge, freezer, and pantry that um, I think we're gonna be good for a while. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, this Texas style rice and beans from HEB. And we will see you guys next time. Hey guys, so let me show you a meal that I whipped up from my pantry today. So in my pantry, I have this huge box of penne pasta. I think I may have gotten this from the Dollar Tree a long time ago. It's a huge box, um, 24 ounces. And so what I did was measure out two cups of dry pasta and cooked it up. In my freezer, I have a bunch of frozen shrimp. So I took out about a pound of frozen shrimp, cleaned it, seasoned it up. And what I did was saute the shrimp in olive oil, garlic and a little bit of this um, pesto sauce that I also got from the Dollar Tree a while ago. It's been in my pantry. So I ended up using about a half a jar of this pesto. And then after that, I added in the penne and I added more um, 
more of the uh, pesto sauce and stirred it up as you can see right here. And then I also added some Parmesan cheese that I had in my freezer. And then we did not have any garlic bread, so I made my own garlic bread. The other week, Howard grilled out some sausages and there were six sausages in the pack. And of course, the hot dog pack comes with eight buns. So we had two buns left over that I stuck in my freezer. And with it, I made some garlic bread. So I had this garlic spread in my freezer. I I'm sorry, not my freezer, my pantry. I can't remember where I got it from, um, but this is what I use. After you open it, you refrigerate it. And so, like I said, this is what our garlic bread that we're having. And um, for dessert, I had these cookies in my freezer. Um, we tried them a while back ago. I opened them, then I put them back in the freezer and um, forgot about them and realized, let me go ahead and make these cookies. So they are baking in the oven right now. Otherwise, I would show you what they look like. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. We are having some basil penne pasta, garlic bread, and for dessert, we are having these um, white chip lemon cookies. See you guys next time.